Hello and welcome. Uh, welcome to a new video that is gonna try to investigate the mystery of the Bloodburn cannon damage discrepancies. I remember reading on a few forums back in the days that the church cannon was dealing more damage than the cannon, despite the fact that the AR of the church cannon was lower. And I will basically explain to you how and why it might be the case in certain circumstances and not others. It's not a false statement, it's just not a true statement either. So, technically, the cannon has a much higher AR. So this character is a 50 blood tinge character that can use both because it has 30 strength. I have 600 blood damage the base uh, on the, the, the plus 10 cannon, plus 204. And the church cannon is doing 480 plus 203, so essentially 121 less damage than the cannon. Now, let's just really quickly take a quick look at what happens technically when you arrive and you try that and you go Now, let's try to do the exact same thing with the normal cannon. Well, you will see that nobody will die, essentially. This was just to show that the, the, um, the church cannon with a BMA essentially eradicates all the weak goons in one hit and the cannon just simply doesn't with BMA at 50 blood tinge. And that is the very reason why most people say, most people, some people, <laughs> some people claim that the cannon does less damage than the, the church cannon. So if you check the damage of the cannon on the doll here, seven hundred and twenty three, okay? Now what happens with the church cannon? With the church cannon? One thousand and forty six. So the natural conclusion is well, it's a direct hit, so the church cannon does more damage than the cannon. And the problem is that no, it does not. It seems it does because of the mechanism of the of the cannons. Now, let me try something. This will not help us. We will need to use uh, a non-upgraded cannon to do the demonstration, but bear with me. If I shoot next to her like let's shoot the so it's there's no direct impact and I shoot it's the exact same damage with the church cannon and if I do the same thing with the normal cannon I will also do 723 damage okay so Based on that, you seem to think, well, there you go. I mean, that's just like uh, the, the just the blast is doing all that. But it's not how it works. When you test it on strong um, 
uh, where am I? Yeah, for example, here. If you test it on uh, goons that have a lot of HPs, suddenly you will see that your cannon does way more damage than your church cannon on a direct hit. And this is because the cannon has a two component to its, uh, to its damage uh, hitbox, whereas the church cannon has only one. So here, if I actually shoot this guy in the face, it's 1046 damage. It's just Just 1,046. And the 1,046, remember this is exactly the damage that you do on the on the doll. When 1,446 is actually exactly twice the damage that the, the cannon does to the doll. The bottom line is, my doll is, I mean NG. Uh, the doll has only 500 HP, I think, or something like that. Basically, the doll dies on the first component of the damage of the cannon that has two. One, the impact. Two, the explosion. Whereas the church cannon has no impact uh, to, its, uh, to its damage mechanic. It's only blast. And this is the main difference. To prove it... Let's just try again and see the difference in the damage that we do on this goon. Um, I have to do that to re replenish my silver bullets. If I actually shoot next to the goon and use only the splash effect, the explosion component of both cannons, you will see that the the church cannon does all its damage in the explosion, uh, the splash damage, whereas the, the normal cannon doesn't. So I will just try to not stagger, uh, not uh, trigger the, the goon so that I can nicely take my time and aim. Yes, perfect. Okay. So if I actually shoot right there, Seven hundred and twenty three. Okay. Now, if I do the exact same thing with the church cannon, up, oh, I shoot the same spot. And that's 1046. So there you go. This is just a non upgraded cannon and a non upgraded church cannon, and I have just the bare minimum stats to use both. Okay, so if I shoot directly into the doll, 344. Okay. Now what happens when I shoot on the side? One hundred and seventy two. So that's literally again half of the damage. What happened when we actually shoot with the church cannon? I don't have enough bullets. 254 and if I shoot on the side it will be 254 
once again it's only the demonstration of what we knew from the first tests essentially okay now what I'm curious to know about is the role of the bone marrow ash so let's try that so when you boost that with bone marrow ash my gut feeling is that the cannon will have only part of its damage uh, increased the impact and not the not the blast so let's try that so if I actually shoot at her directly with the bone marrow ash 428 428 straight up with the bone marrow ash and without it was 328 so that's just about 90 more okay now what happens when you actually boost your stuff and you shoot on the side here so before boost 172 after boost still 172 bingo so that is just demonstrating that the bone marrow ash on the cannon boosts the direct ex uh, the direct impact damage but not the the explosion uh, damage now as opposed to the church cannon which damage being a hundred percent only the the explosion will be modified entirely I guess so again if we go there boom straight up in the face 316 which is less which is weird I think okay let me check again 316 it did more than this earlier didn't it ah no okay so 254 to 316 whereas if I shoot on the side that will still be 316 bingo so yeah, that's it for the final test. Let's see how much damage you do with each cannon with and without bone marrow ash boost on an enemy can, that can actually take it. To start with the church cannon. A church cannon with bone marrow ash packs 1,282 versus 1034 the church cannon has only one component to its damage so nothing to break down here okay no what about the actual basic cannon Ooh, 1660 now in slow motion you can see that the cannon shoots the first hit is 996 and then the total is 1660 which means an additional 664 996 is 1.5 times 664 so the BMA boosts only the first impact and not the second one and without BMA 1328 there you go and without any BMA the total damage is 1,328, which is, coincidentally, 2 times 664. That is the final demonstration that we were missing. So essentially, the cannon has a two parts component uh, in, in its damage registration. The first direct hit 
this one can be boosted by bone marrow ash and then the explosion the splash damage that is the other missing 50 percent from the, the the raw damage without buff and this one cannot be boosted by bma which explains the discrepancy in the in the previous test where when you buff the cannon with bma and you come into a group and you shoot only the the one mob that gets hit by the bullet uh, gets the full uh, the full damage but all the neighbors get only the blast damage and the blast damage is not buffed by bma whereas the the church cannon since all its damage comes exclusively from the explosion is actually buffed uh, by the BMA and therefore is much much more efficient against groups with that said see you later